I want to take just a little bit of time to discuss this one right here in the middle. So um, let's make some room. So, so with this, generally there's a hormone called DHT, dihydrotestosterone. And there are some drugs like minoxidil that are basically inhibitors or blockers of DHT. Um, DHT, excessive or aggressive quantities of DHT, are, are known for contributing to that, that hair recession, that early onset, early age hair recession. And so one of the biggest questions that I get, is especially from young men or from women who have the same type of, of uh, pattern baldness, is what can you do? What can you do to try to be as preventative as possible and, and slowing that down? Well, there are some studies that show that, that men um, some certain men with male pattern hair style or, or, or types of hair loss have a, an aggressive um, sensitivity to DHT because their hair follicles are more sensitive to oxidation. Uh, and so what that means is we're all exposed to oxidation on a, on a daily basis as part of being alive, but, but some people are, are more susceptible to it. And, and those individuals that are more susceptible generally have, have a tendency toward this type of hair loss pattern. And so there's some things that can be taken supplementally that can help with this. DHEA is one of them. Selenium, pycnogenol, some, uh, a lot of men specifically will take, um, will take um, the, the prostate support type supplements like pumpkin seed. Uh, some will take tribulus testeris uh, or saw palmetto. Um, but these are all things that are gonna have an impact on, um, on this right here, that DHT. And so these are things that can be taken as a preventative if you're finding that that is occurring nutritionally, supplementally. Now the other thing, um, it, a big one, one of the biggest ones here is zinc because you need zinc to properly metabolize DHT. And so what happens sometimes is DHT levels are too elevated, they're too high because the person's not breaking it down and that DHT then can create problems within the hair follicle itself and the hair growth and the receding pattern begins. And so one of the things that you can do, guys and ladies, is measure, have your doctor measure your DHT. So measure it and measure the zinc because a lot of times what you'll find is you'll find elevated DHT and low zinc. And if you see that pattern, this is where a lot of times zinc can be very, very helpful for that type of, um, that type of, of uh, hormone related hair loss pattern. So I, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that because that's a, probably one of the more common questions online I get. 